Hello and welcome to Sport This Morning. I'm Cecilia. I'm always... It's great to have you join us again. I'm Taya Salam. Okay. All right. This is where we start the show from. It's only right to start from the channel's International Kids Cup. And we have our semi-finalists already. And today, all uh, four schools will battle to advance into the final of Season 10 of the channel's International Kids Cup. Four schools, 16 schools started. Remember, we were down to just four and Cecilia, luckily for us, uh, the guys from X Planter uh, made it through. So yeah. today, semi-final action in the channel's International Kids Cup. Yeah, for the X Planter kids for the second time in a in row, row now, they are in Fantastic. the semi-finals. And funny enough, four teams uh, got to the semi-finals, of course, expected. But four goals, we actually scored uh, each uh, of the two <laughs> games that we have played. Just one, one nil. A very, very competitive, competitive game it was games. on Thursday. Absolutely. Okay, still on the program, you have the Champions League. And Liverpool and Real Madrid, they are already in Kiev, ready for the big showdown. Mm. Liverpool for them, the last time they won was 2005. And five. And for Real Madrid, well, you will stay back to back and expecting another one. They're gunning for a treble of the UEFA Champions League. Back Liverpool, they're gunning for one for the first time in 20 Interestingly, on the guy on your screen there on the right, Jürgen Klopp, has never won never the Champions, won Champions League before. Final. Meanwhile, the guy on the left is proven to be a specialist because he's won two in a row. Mm -hmm. And he's about to make it three in a row. Those two guys will have a major role to play in Saturday's uh, showdown between Real Madrid and Liverpool. Also on the show this time, we're going to the NBA, the NBA playoffs. <laughs> it is hot enough. Cecilia yeah. is excited because we have a series on our hands. Obviously. Houston Rockets have taken a 3-2 lead in the Western Conference Finals after they defeated the Golden State Warriors 94, okay, 98 Eight. to 94 <laughs> in Game 5. Five. Five. Now, wow. I mean, when they came back from 12-point deficit in that uh uh, game four right. to win. win We're like, one. okay, it was a slight, a slight one. But then this time around, I mean, they just outclassed them. Warriors, Oof. what's happening? I mean, I they won know. two in a row. And since that time, just cut your mind back. Yeah. They were two nil up, right? And that will happen. Mm. Houston, three. Wow. They flip it around. They've won two the in a row now uh, for Houston Rocket. The one, uh, 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 you know, um, uh, on Warriors ground. And now they've come back home to Houston. Uh, to win. win as well too. And basically, uh, the implication is if we game. go to a game seven, uh, the Houston Rockets uh, will have home court advantage, advantage. and it's going to be very difficult. All the pressure is on the Golden State Warriors. And that's where we'll start the show from, uh, from the Western Conference Finals between uh, the Houston Rockets and the Golden State Warriors. Confirmation of that result again, 98 to 94. Very, very close, like it was in game four as well, too. After a couple of blowouts in the first two, three uh, games of the series, the series, everything is very close, choked very tight. Up now. That's how a series should be. That's, That's how it should the way be. It's supposed to Especially be. Especially between the best two, two sides, sides in the, in the Western the West. Conference. Because we expected this. I mean, at the beginning, I was like, are we going to have a blowout in the finals, which will be interesting? No. Nah. But then from this result, we've seen twice now in a row close. 94 98 very close but the rockets of course on the night they were better than uh the golden state they were warriors. better they were the, better the I mean, warriors were missing careless. shots and all that yeah. they were very very careless I mean, if they had been able to convert all these shots mm. and all that i think they would have won now james Harden again you know stepping up to the party steph curry just couldn't do it a little more kd all of them but then sometimes mm. it's just luck yeah, I don't think it's luck. I mean, it's just guys. This guy's okay. earning uh, the victory on the night. So Chris Paul uh, has been very, very fantastic in this series and showing uh, a lot of veteran uh, leadership. But yesterday it was Eric Gordon. Yeah, that 24 came points off the bench. Off the bench. You see That's what I'm huge. Exactly. The other guys are <laughs> stepping up because uh, the truth of the matter is James Harden had a poor shooting. Uh, yeah, he struggled. Chris Paul struggled, yeah. especially in the first 20 half. 20.7 rebounds and 6 assists. Exactly. That's when he kicked CP3. on in the second half. Mm -hmm. But in the first half, they struggled big time. They needed someone to carry the offensive load. Eric Gordon uh, is a fantastic player on his day and he did just that. And uh, he was able to help his team uh, in onto that particular victory uh, for Houston Rockets. So, fantastic results uh, mm -hmm. for them. Uh, Cecilia mentioned Steph Curry as well, too. Steph Curry, Cecilia, um, he had a decent game, but these are not the numbers we expect Ooh, from course. Steph Curry. Yeah. Uh, 22 points, 7 rebounds, and 6 assists. Mm -hmm. uh, Steph Curry on a normal day, you expect him to get 30. his customary 30 points yeah. on a night. Not meant to be for him. I don't know what's going on. I don't know whether that's the injury. I uh, think so. He hasn't really hit it because, I mean, he hasn't really hit that uh, that momentum we know yeah. Steph Curry to be and all that. The kind of shots he pulled out, yeah. we've not seen that. 
Mm, interesting. Yeah, I think so, it's just the injury. I yeah, think. perhaps that's perhaps. the injury. We're not trying to give any excuses, any excuses. here. But uh, Chris Paul uh, had his... He struggled a bit as well, so Chris Paul, but then I was still able to contribute 20 points, 20 points. Uh, 7 rebounds, and 6, six assists. assists. We cannot wait for Game 6. Back <laughs> at the Oracle Arena, Warriors ground, they're going to need... A lot of a lot of uh, fan support uh, to come out of this one. The pressure is on them. Not just the fans; they're also going to need these big boys, these especially guys. from KD, step up, step, uh, Clay Thompson, Draymond right. Green. All of them just need KD, that. KD I mean, was decent on the night, twenty-nine points. Yeah, yeah that's decent. They, uh, they need the to score a lot more. Not than good that. enough. Yeah. 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 And we can get forty points from him, mm. and we can get thirty from this guy. Absolutely. Just imagine both of them having to put in uh, fifty points in between them. Mm. What do you have? Mm. Interesting. Good one. Okay, so that's it for Western Conference Finals. Now, game six is on Saturday uh, at the Oracle Center uh, in Oakland. Uh, we'll see how that one pans out tonight. Action will continue in the Eastern Conference Finals. The Cleveland Cavaliers will try to stave up elimination mm -hmm. against the Boston Celtics. Uh, Cecilia, this game is going to be played at the Quicken Loans right now. We know the Cavs on home courts are fantastic yeah. and uh, uh, the Celtics are bad so travelers. Right so now. I think we're going back to Boston for Game 7. Yep. That's how it's going right? to be. Okay, now, <laughs> if, if they lose this one, and of course, yeah. it's tied on 3 all, mm. So, Boston game we'll 7, and Boston's going to win it. We'll see. My heart is definitely with him. Yeah. But LeBron, <laughs> you can never bet against him. Never bet against <laughs> the king. I mean, he rules and you know, runs things uh, basically in the NBA. Let's move over quickly. We're not leaving basketball just here, but not, yeah. just now we're not on the court. We're on the road. And, um, Cecilia, it's been not a good uh, an ongoing issue uh, for a while now. Mm -hmm. um, players in the NBA and the NFL... Uh, protesting pro uh, police uh, brutality, especially against uh, the min minorities and the blacks uh, in the USA. And um, we have an example yeah, of right why there. these guys have been protesting. What we're seeing on the screen now, uh, Cecilia, is something that went down uh, between... Yeah, in January, when, the, when, when the general police, police have just released, you know, that video of what footage. happened, body cam footage yeah. of what transpired between the police officers and Milwaukee box player talking about Sterling Brown. Right. And, you know, it was supposed to just be a normal uh, parking right. ticket yeah. and all that, reckless driving and all that, but then it turned into let, this. Let, let's see what transpired, actually, between Sterling Brown and the policeman. Our department conducted an investigation into the incident, which revealed members acted inappropriately and those members were recently disciplined. I'm sorry this incident escalated to this level. Yeah, the apology, I mean, mm. that's what it's coming from. The police officer promising that they will definitely prosecute those ones, you know, that were involved in that incident. We wanted to hear, you know, body camp and all yeah, that, what we'll, really transpired, yeah, you know, we'll in that video. That, yeah. Should we go back to that? Okay, yeah. Maybe we can go back to that video again yeah. of what really transpired so that everyone can understand, you know, this was released by the police on Wednesday uh, recently. You're going to try and get in the car. I'll do what I want, all right? No, I own this right here. You don't own me, though. So what's your name? Take your hands out of your pockets now. I got stuff in my hands. Hey, 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 don't follow the bus. I do, so I didn't recognize you. I didn't recognize your famous name. That's him right there, a picture mm. of him. He plays for Milwaukee Bucks. Now, if a basketball player can get this, just imagine what other man would get. Mm. Okay. Not very, not very not good very good. at all. Yeah. And the good mm -hmm. thing is that uh, this guy's out. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the yeah. police responsible are going to pay for it. Which is really line. cool and yeah. all that. All right, uh, from then on, let's move to this one, the controversial the NFL, issue, right. talking about NFL. I mean, we talked about the fact that with what the NFL commission have decided, of course, the uh, uh, owners the and policy. also the chairman and all that, the anti policy mm -hmm. reaction is going to come. But this one is coming from the U.S. President, <laughs> Donald Trump, talking about the fact that he didn't really start it and people saw it and everyone didn't like it. And that's the main reason mm. why, you know, they had to go this way. Yeah. But something well, interesting he said about yeah. the fact that if you don't want to stay in the local room, you can't kneel on the field, and if you don't want to do that, then you have no business. Uh, God, that's so just rest President rest Donald answer. Trump being uh, P E T T. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, but the bottom line is uh, the, the policy is yet to stay, and um, the policy that uh, teams will be fined if any of the players kneel during the national anthem. President Trump is in full support of that policy. 
I think that's good. I don't think people should be staying in locker rooms, but still, I think it's good. You have to stand proudly for the national anthem. Well, you shouldn't be playing. You shouldn't be there. Maybe you shouldn't be in the country. You have to stand proudly for the national anthem. And the NFL owners did the right thing if that's what they've done. I think the people pushed it forward. This was not me. I brought it out. I think the people pushed it forward. This country is very smart. We have very smart people. And, you know, that's something ideally could have been taken care of when it first started. It would have been a lot easier. But if they did that, they're doing the right thing. It's yes, all about so doing the right President thing, Trump right? Yeah. Has no doubts whatsoever mm -hmm. that this is the way to go. Yeah. Players should not kneel during the national just anthem. Just respect your anthem. Yeah. yeah, but it'll be very interesting to see <laughs> the first uh, day of the National yeah. Football League when it all kicks off. How many players will be on the field for the national anthem? I've been monitoring that one very well. Right. Perhaps the um, majority will be in the dressing room, just chilling yeah, until just it's chilling. done. Okay. We'll see. I mean, he made a statement on Force News Channel's Force and Friends mm. Money Show. That's when he made this statement. Okay. okay. We're not Still Trump. on Donald Trump. Yeah. This He's is in the news. a good one. He's yeah. always in the news. Remember the guy, Jack Johnson, yeah, the first African-American heavyweight first. champion? He was jailed for... Uh, he was jailed like a century ago because of the relationship between him and a black woman mm. and all that, all that troubles that came up. But then he died in 1946. All right. Right now, he has received uh, a, a posthumous, posthumous pardon. pardon. Fantastic. Fantastic for Jack Johnson. Oh, we didn't get to see Jack Johnson. A lot of us didn't get to see uh, Jack Johnson uh, fight. But I've seen his um, fight several times. Uh, a lot of them black and white. Black and white. That's uh, it was a monster. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, first black man to win the heavyweight uh, championship of the world uh, when it comes to boxing. And um, that issue uh, has been, it's been like, a, like, a, like a stain mm -hmm. on his legacy for yes. a long time. And for uh, President Trump to come out and, you know, uh, do this pardon, and I think it's a very, very nice touch from the president. It is, it is. Just to reduce the tension right now that's been on in the U.S. Let's listen to him. Today, uh, as president, I've issued an executive grant of clemency, a full pardon, posthumously, to John Arthur Jack Johnson. He was known as Jack Johnson, the first African-American heavyweight champion of the world, a truly great fighter, had a tough life. They say he violated the Mann Act, and he had a conviction that occurred during a period of tremendous racial tension in the United States more than a century ago. Johnson served 10 months in federal prison for what many view as a racially motivated injustice. He was treated very rough, very tough. He really represented something that was both very beautiful and very terrible at the same time. I believe that Jack Johnson is a very worthy person to receive a full pardon, and in this case, a posthumous pardon. So I am taking this very righteous step, I believe, to correct a wrong that occurred in our history and to honor a truly legendary boxing champion. For so long, my family was deeply ashamed that my uncle went to prison because of how he was treated and they never really spoke of him. And I've said many times, I did not realize and know he was my uncle until I was 12 years old because of the fame, I mean the shame that the family carried and most of them took it to their graves. Mm -hmm. By this pardon being issued, that would help to rewrite history and erase the shame and the humiliation that my family felt for my uncle, a great hero, uh, being imprisoned unjustly. Actually, when I was writing it, I'm thinking about inspirations for this Apollo Creed, and that was Jack Johnson, this bigger than life, yeah. incredible character, and who was, you know, treated so unfairly. Take his prime was taken away, but somehow he still managed to persevere and kept a smile on his face, and he's truly an inspirational character. Jack Johnson's a great inspiration to to me, especially throughout my whole career. And uh, I was always wondering how it comes he didn't get a lot of press and uh, what the situation was with him. But I'm very happy that I was here at this uh, historic day uh, for Mr. Johnson and his family.